For the first time in CBS4 history, an incumbent U.S. senator has declined to debate his opponent live on our air. In fact, Senator Mark Udall is not doing a debate on any of the four major network television stations in Denver. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us tonight. And Sean, this is, of course, disappointing to us, but it's also unfortunate for our viewers. Hey, Karen, live debates are the one opportunity voters have to see candidates go toe-to-toe -to -toe without a media filter. The clarity of their vision and courage of their conviction, how they think on their feet and respond under pressure. We've been trying to schedule this debate for more than two months. It was to be an hour, live, in prime time, right here in our studio. And unlike attack ads that cost millions of dollars to air, it was free airtime. But incumbent Senator Mark Udall said, no thanks. This is campaign late. The Senate debate. CBS 4 has a long history of hosting political debates, tracing back to our days as KOA. For more than 30 years, we've invited candidates for U.S. Senate to debate on our air. And never has a candidate passed on the opportunity. Until now. Incumbent Senator Mark Udall says he's all booked. In fact, he isn't doing any live debate on a major network television station in Colorado. Is there not any date between now and November 4th that would work? Sean, we're going to have a whole series of debates and forums all over the state. With a month before ballots go out, Udall series includes four debates, two in Denver, a matter concerning to even some Democrats. I think it will cause many a voter to ask, why? Why didn't you go on TV and do the live debate? Couldn't that hurt him? It, yes, yes. Sometimes you, you have the colossal blunder and sometimes you have the death of a thousand cuts. This could be one of the cuts that, combined with others, could be harmful. Absolutely. Adding to the oddity, Udall's campaign sent this letter to his opponent, Congressman Cory Gardner, in June, challenging him to a series of open and honest debates, saying Colorado has a great tradition of holding spirited public debates, that U.S. Senate candidates standing on a stage together is a proud Colorado custom. Gardner has committed to 16 debates since then, including CBS 4s. Udall has had trouble fitting in four, booking one of the debates just this week. Just produces all this speculation. Why? Why didn't you do it? Political science professor Norm Provisor says if Udall was hoping to avoid exposure, he just invited it. What you bring from that is this notion, whatever issues you might think, there may be a price you might pay for having a debate. You know, you, you might pay a bit of a price. But I think the reality is the price you pay for not doing it, for not participating, is much greater. Especially, Provisor says, when Udall's in a race that could go either way. This is one of the most closely watched races in the country and could decide the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. It is unfortunate we won't be broadcasting a U.S. Senate debate this year. Karen. All right.